everybody, Casey here, and welcome to Home Cooking. I'm on my way out to the grocery store because I was feeling some ox sales today. Now, usually I order everything from Instacart, but in this case, at these prices, I need to go and see it and feel it and touch it and pick my own ox tails. In any case, I'm going to hurry on down there so I can hurry on back here. And when I get back, I'm going to show you guys how to make the most delectable tasting oxtails you will ever, ever, ever have. When I tell you that this recipe tops anything that I've tasted in a restaurant, and I'm not just patting myself on the back, they are so delicious. They just kind of roll over your tongue, down into your tummy, and touches what? Your soul. So, let me get out of here so I can get back, and then I'm going to do my thing with these oxtails the KC way. And if you want to know how I do it, stay tuned. Grab a bit of this and a dash of that. Mix it up a little that. Okay, we have Adolf's Meat Tenderizer, Black pepper, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, Lowry seasoned salt, sazon, Casey's blessing. Can't wait till that's coming at ya. And I'm gonna make my oxtails a little bit healthier by using some keto wheat flour and Splenda brown sugar blend. Now you can use whatever sweetener or flour you choose. I also have some low sodium beef broth, and of course my Trinity girls, and a fresh sprig of rosemary, along with a quarter cup of canola oil, and of course the stars of the show, freshly washed, trimmed oxtails. Now I'm gonna put these oxtails on a flat surface. I'm gonna take that Ados meat tenderizer and I'm gonna sprinkle it on one side and then I'm gonna flip it over and sprinkle it on the other because this is gonna make sure that my oxtails are fork tender. I'm taking all those seasonings you saw in the beginning, add it to the flour, put it in a freezer bag because I want to coat my oxtails thoroughly on every side. Just like that. The air's going to hit them while I'm heating up my skillet on high. I'm going to take that canola oil, get it in the skillet, and when it's ready, I'm going to turn down the heat a little, and I'm going to sprinkle a little water on there to make sure the heat is hot enough for my browning. And the water's dancing. It's ready. And let's get those oxtails in there. Now, we're not just going to brown these oxtails. I want that sugar to caramelize to a nice brown crisp. It's almost there. Not quite. This is what I want to see. When you see it like that on all sides, you know it's ready. Now I'm gonna get over here to my Trinity girls. I'm gonna take half of my girls and I'm gonna start lining my cook pot. Because as I told you in previous videos, when you are using a lot of fluid to cook a meat, you want to layer your flavors. Let's get the oxtails in on top of those vegetables. Let's get them all in there. Just like that. And we're gonna end up with veggies on the top. It's gonna look like that. I'm gonna put the rosemary there. And now I'm gonna hit it up with my Casey's Blessings. When this is available to you, trust me, you don't wanna miss out. The flavor enhancement is out of this world. Let's get that low sodium beef broth in there and that's 16 ounces of that. And I didn't forget, you thought I did, butter, which makes things all better. Get that in there. Let's get a lid on this pot. I want to turn it up to a high heat so it can do what? Come to a rapid boil like this. That's what it should look like. I wish you could smell it. Oh my goodness. Now, I'm going to bring my heat down to a medium high. And I'm going to cook these puppies until they are falling off the bone. And that fat has rendered into a wonderful, bam, gravy. This is what oxtail should look like. I can't wait to put that on a plate because I am going to devour them. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look how tender that is. Mm, every piece of this oxtail is so flavorful.
I can't wait to take a look, taste taste. Hmm. Mm. 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 It's so good. This is so good. This is out of sight. You don't want to miss out on this one. If you like this video, and how could you not like oxtails? Hit the like button. Remember, ring that notification bell so you always know when I'm coming at you with a new recipe. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, you know what I wish you. I wish you love, peace, and a whole lot of joy. See you on the flip side. Bye-bye. That's no good day.